so I'm just gonna do something which is probably a little bit overdue uh, being as the channel's been up a little while um, and you've all, right, all made the crew which is great uh, but perhaps I haven't met the most important character so as you can see it's a panel van which has been converted to camper it's a proper conversion the model is a uh, uh, auto trail trigano tribute 650 uh, it's on a fiat chassis um, it's a 2008 plate uh, but it only done about 30,000 miles in total so far um, it's probably actually quite a sheltered life until we started dragging it around uh, highland scotland it's nice because it's big enough for you to have most of the facilities that you would need on a daily basis but it's still small enough for you to be able to park it in say a supermarket car park without any trouble side you can see that there's a sliding door uh, but we can't use that at the moment because we've messed around with the layout a little bit on the inside uh, which I'll show you in a second uh, there's an awning up there which we does work but we've only ever used it once to pull it out to make sure it worked so on this side of the van is more like the business end of the van I guess first thing is a water fresh water filler which is this one this is the cover for the water heater in the van so we can get hot water for washing and obviously doing dishes and whatnot electric hookup so on a day like today when we're on a campsite we're hooked up to the main In through the back door of the van there's a little wardrobe area here and then on the left hand side there's our toilet which swivels to more access more room for access and our shower stroke place to hang every single thing up in um, so Plus it is relatively easy to have a shower, you do have to like decant everything out of there. Up is the kitchen. So as you can see, we've got a four ring cooker and that's a gas cook, uh, hob. Um, sink is there um, and we've also done this ourselves or Steph did it actually where you've got a extra worktop space uh, and this is all covered over in can labels uh, she did a really good job of that I think so on your left there you can see we have a fridge and a freezer uh, this is like a really generous arrangement for this size of van in our opinion probably a bit too much space given up for this This is our living area, uh, so as you can see it's quite a generous amount of cupboards and whatnot as you go through. Uh, this is the control panel for the van just to make sure everything is as it should be. Um, switch our lights on and stuff like that if we need to. Um, this is a what's known as a captain's chair, in fact they both are, which means they both swivel around. But again, because we've set this van up the way we have, so we've got a walkway through on beds on either side, they're not really functioning as they should at the moment. 